Welcome to World Action and Reaction News, please press subscribe button and, and press bell icon if you are new to the channel let's start news snapshot. Hello friends, thanks for your appreciation, let's start today's news snapshot. India's Act East policy is really taking shape and the presence of 10 ASEAN leaders during the Republic Day celebrations here will definitely showcase that policy, Defence Minister Nirmala Sitarman today said. She said this in response to a question from the press during her visit to the NCC Republic Day camp at Delhi Cantonment. The Prime Minister's intention that the Look East policy should now be the Act East policy is really taking shape. And, by the very presence of 10 leaders from ASEAN during the Republic Day celebrations, India will definitely showcase its Act East policy, she said. When asked about the ceasefire violations, she said, let's talk about the NCC camp and Republic Day today. Under Make in India, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, has made attacking light combat helicopter, LCH. The trial of its strike capabilities is going on at Pokhran Field Firing Range in Jaisalmer. Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO, Indian Air Force and HAL scientists are supervising the testing. During the trials, DRDO, Air Force and HAL officers and scientists are present who are checking the LCH on various parameters. According to information from reliable sources this trial has been going on at the firing range for last one week under desert conditions. While the helicopter itself is being tested on different parameters, its firing capability is assessed from variable heights. Earlier similar trials were held at Sia Chen also. HAL has custom designed the 5.8-ton LCH to provide fire support to the Army at mountainous deployment areas on the northern borders, which can be as high as 6,000 meters, almost 20,000 feet. It has an operational ceiling limit of 6,000 to 6,500 meters, 19,700 to 21,300 feet. At these rarefied altitudes, where the shortage of oxygen prevents troops from carrying heavy weapons into battle, the LCH will provide crucial fire support with its 20mm turret gun, 70mm rockets and, to be incorporated later, a guided missile. The People's Liberation Army Navy's South China Sea Fleet deployed the H-6G bomber in its recent combat maneuvers. The aircraft developed for 10 years in service is equipped with the electronic countermeasures pods underneath its wings. The main role of the electronic fighters is to obstruct the enemy's electronic jamming devices, for example, radar, to temporarily or permanently, if powerful enough, cover the surveillance devices and to hide our combat platform's track, Song Zhongping, a military expert and TV commentator, told the state-run Global Times. The H-6G electronic warfare aircraft boasts of high electronic jamming power and can cover relatively bigger combat areas such as the South China Sea and East China Sea, Song said. China has developed advanced and standardist ECM pods to modify multiple types of fighter jets for combat requirements, such as the J-15 type fighter jets. Using the ECM pods in fighters is the most efficient and effective way, Song said. In an initiative that is being welcomed by small private defense firms, Raksha Mantri Nirmala Sitarman on Tuesday simplified the Make-2 procedure, which is a framework for defense firms to develop and build equipment the military has announced it wants. The Make-1 procedure is aimed at large, expensive projects like the future infantry combat vehicle. It provides for private industry consortia to develop such platforms, with the ministry reimbursing up to 90% of the cost incurred. In contrast, Make-2 is an industry-funded initiative for small projects that do not incur a heavy development cost. It allows private companies to develop equipment that the military has publicly stated it requires, in a document called the Technology Perspective and Capability Roadmap, which is posted on the Defense Ministry website. Now, aiming to make the Make-2 process more practical for private firms, the Defense Acquisition Council announced it has simplified the procedure to make it industry-friendly, with minimal government control. India has now begun final contract negotiations with Russia for the Rs 39,000 crore, over $5.5 billion, acquisition of five advanced S-400 Triumph Air Defense Missile Systems, 
which can detect, track and destroy hostile strategic bombers, stealth fighters, spy planes, missiles, and drones at a range of up to 400 km and altitude of 30 km. India wants to conclude the major deal in the 2018-19 financial year, with the first S-400 surface-to-air, SAM, missile system, with its associated battle. Management system of command post and launchers, acquisition and engagement radars, and all-terrain transporter erector launcher vehicles, slated for delivery two years after the contract is inked. All the five S-400 systems, which can even take on medium-range ballistic missiles, apart from cruise missiles, will be delivered in 54 months. The force multiplier will change the dynamics of air defense in the region, a defense ministry source said. Thanks for watching, hope this piece of information is useful for you, please press like button if you like this video, good night. Take care of your loved ones, keep smiling we'll meet you tomorrow.